Question number one, Phil Twyford. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is for the Minister for State-Owned Enterprises. What reports, if any, has he received about Kiwi Rail's plans to get rid of electric locomotives on the North Island main trunk line and replace them with diesel locomotives? The Honourable Mr Maclay. Mr Speaker, I have not received any reports on Kiwi Rail's review of their locomotive assets. However, I am aware that Kiwi Rail have put out a statement in which has said, as any responsible business operator, Kiwi Rail has a continuous process of asset management. The EF class of locomotives have reached the point that a review of their future is required. They are performing poorly, and this is beginning to impact on our operations, so we are currently reviewing their future. Mr Speaker, it is my expectation that Kiwi Rail review any asset that may not be performing well to ensure that it continues to meet operational requirements. However, I also note from the Kiwi Rail statement, no decision has been made. <coughs> Supplementary. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Why wasn't he told by Kiwi Rail's board under the no surprises policy about their proposal to implement dirty diesel on the, on the North Island main trunk line, putting hundreds of jobs and billions of dollars of infrastructure in jeopardy? The Honourable Todd McClay. Mr Speaker, I am informed via the statement Kiwi, Kiwi Rail put out that there is no decision has been made yet. So uh, what the member is doing is, is speculating. Mr Speaker, this is, for, this is a decision and consideration for the Kiwi Rail Board. When they have made a decision, they will uh, signal that to us. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. What is his view about the consequences of a proposal that um, would put at risk billions of dollars worth of electrification infrastructure based on the, on the assumption that if, the, if electrification infrastructure is not used, it will have to be removed from the line. And has he told the Minister of Finance about that possibility? Speaker. The Honourable Todd McClay. Mr Speaker, the Government's commitment to Kiwi Rail is clear. Since 2008, we have invested $1.3 billion in this. When one considers the, uh, the amount that was spent by the previous Labor Government to buy Kiwi Rail, and they spent too much of it, more than $2 billion has been spent. Mr Speaker, we expect Kiwi Rail to run their business efficiently, and I think taxpayers have a right to expect that Kiwi Rail will consider uh, the very best way to deliver service in that environment. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. How does dirty diesel on the main trunk line square with his government's commitment to reduce carbon emissions in the transport sector at a time when every other country is trying to reduce their reliance on fossil fuels and increase electrification in the transport system? Honourable Todd McClay. Mr Speaker, I repeat again, no decision has been made. I expect Kiwi Rail to assess all of the options, in, and, and including environmentally. Firstly, Secondly, Mr Speaker, I think this government's commitment to renewables is beyond question. Almost 80 per cent of electricity generated in New Zealand is renewable. I expect Kiwi Rail to, on behalf of the taxpayer, run their business efficiently, effectively, uh, and that's what we're waiting for them to do. Order. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Why is he allowing Kiwi Rail to buy cheap Chinese diesel locomotives when the last lot of cheap Chinese electric locomotives have spent months in the workshop laid up with mechanical problems, asbestos contamination, and the cheap Chinese rolling stock has had equally disastrous consequences? Mr. Honour order, Honourable Todd McClay. Mr Speaker, the government, uh, on behalf of the New Zealand taxpayer, has invested $1.3 billion into Kiwi Rail since 2008. In 2008. I don't think anything they're doing is cheap. <laughs> Mr. Speaker. Oh, point of order, Phil Twyford. I seek the Leader of the House to table a letter from Kiwi Rail management to staff about the dirty diesel plan. Order. 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 Leave us sort to table this letter. Uh, I'll put the leave. Leave us sort to table. Is there any objection? Yes, there's no such plan. Order. There is objection. Question number two. Order.